It was a scene few could imagine just a few hours earlier. Donald Trump trailing in the polls for much of the campaign, emerging victorious in a presidential result that stunned the nation and the world. I've just received a call from Secretary Clinton. She congratulated us, it's about us, on our victory. And I congratulated her and her family on a very, very hard-fought campaign. I mean, she, she fought very hard. Trump quickly moved to strike a note of conciliation after a long and bitter campaign that has divided the country. Now it's time for America to bind the wounds of division. We have to get together. To all Republicans and Democrats and independents across this nation, I say it is time for us to come together as one united people. Trump also had a message for leaders in countries abroad, many of whom no doubt had expected a Clinton victory just a few hours again. earlier. I want to tell the world community that while we will always put America's interests first, we will deal fairly with everyone, with everyone. All people and all other nations. We will seek common ground, not hostility, partnership, not conflict. Hillary Clinton did not make a public concession speech, but is expected to speak later Wednesday. It fell to campaign chairman John Podesta to address disappointed supporters who were expecting to celebrate at a New York convention hall. I know you've been here a long time, and it's been a long night, and it's been a long uh, campaign. But I could say uh, we can wait a little longer, can't we? Republicans also retain control of both the Senate and the House of Representatives. Trump won key battleground states, including Florida, Ohio, North Carolina, and even Wisconsin, which last voted Republican in 1984. Trump won with a surge of support from white working class voters, says expert David Schultz on Skype. And what Trump has been very good at doing is bringing out non-traditional voters, which are hard to figure out in terms of polling if they're going to show up. Second, there's been what I call sort of the enthusiasm gap. The people who like Trump really like Trump and are turning out to vote. The people who support Clinton aren't quite as enthusiastic. Trump now prepares for a presidential transition and an inauguration in January that even some of his supporters doubted would ever happen. Jim Malone, VOA News, Washington.